everyone, my name is Maria and I'm a first time mom navigating motherhood during this crazy time while also introducing the concept of Montessori to my baby girl. And now we get to the sensor play kit, the five to six month play kit. The play kit that made me try Love Every because financially when I was purchasing it, it made more sense. At five to six months, we're continuing to help our babies develop their hands. We started this by giving them the rattles and the interlocking discs to grasp and maneuver from hand to hand. Now we're focusing on the finer motor skills by giving them things like the magic tissue box to pull out the smaller tissues, as well as giving them items like the spinning rainbow to reach out and hit with their hand. We're also helping them now discover their feet. So now that they've started using their hands more and more, we're trying to help them discover the fact that they also have their little feet to play with. A big focus at this age is also tummy time. So not only staying on their tummy, but also starting to really use that arm strength to push up so that their chest is getting pushed up from the floor. This is the strength that they will need to start crawling. So the items that we present to them should encourage them to look up, to push up with their arms, and even to start reaching out with their arms. And finally, another milestone during this age will usually be sitting. So we're moving from assisted sitting to tripoding to eventually unassisted sitting. So what do we have in the play kit? The first item is the spinning rainbow and if you've seen my review of the play kit I really attribute this material to Stella going from assisted to unassisted sitting. The next item is this magic tissue box with the organic cotton tissues that you can link together and the baby can pull them out and you will see later I have actually found now on Etsy as of recently there are people selling tissue boxes that look very similar to this one they're also made of wood they're beautiful they're also also a fraction of the price and you can buy cotton squares of a similar size and uh, cut a little slit in them the same way that these have so you can link them together and recreate this activity for a fraction of the cost. Next we've got the Montessori ball which is supposed to be easy for grasping and moving around. We have the Parts of Me book. Next we've got these play sacks to help the baby again discover their feet. They've got jingle bells attached a jingle bell for each sock and we've got the timey time wobbler which is again supposed to encourage the baby to stay on timey time for longer and also start reaching out and as the wobbler moves away it's supposed to encourage crawling and as always we have their play guide the first item we see is of course the one that made me buy the entire play kit this spinning rainbow or rainbow drum, they're called different things online. And when I was purchasing the play kit, I chose to do so because online I was only able to find it for $50 everywhere else. This spinning drum is now back in stock for $33. And I definitely would have gone with just purchasing this item individually and foregone the play kit had it been in stock or at least had a restock date back when I was looking for Stella's items. We definitely introduce it at a time when she really enjoys it and it's been very helpful for her now, so I don't want to have waited for it. But if the time that this item is in stock aligns with when your baby would be able to use it, I definitely recommend purchasing it individually. The rest of the items in this play kit, for example, this magic tissue box and the magic tissues, I thought Stella would love because she loved playing with actual Kleenex, just taking all of them out of the boxes, throwing them around, seeing how they fly through the air, ripping them apart and seeing what happens. But she has absolutely no interest in the magic tissue box. And there's a few reasons for that. One is it definitely doesn't look just like the regular item. She doesn't see us using it the way that we use regular Kleenex. And the tissues are obviously different. These are made out of organic cotton, so when she tries to rip them, she can't. Whereas a regular tissue, she can rip it, she can maneuver it in different ways. It's a texture she hasn't seen a lot. So knowing that, I wouldn't even bother purchasing a separate tissue box. If you wanted to, there are available on Etsy. People make beautiful wooden tissue boxes that come with these scarves that can be used as the tissues. So I would actually recommend completely foregoing that as an activity getting a Kleenex box and just setting it in front of your child. To supervise your baby playing with actual tissues, it's a real item that your baby sees you using and they're going to be a lot more interested in playing with that than with this magic tissue box. Now again, if you saw my video, you'll know that out of all the balls I've offered Stella, this one is her least favorite. This may be just a personal preference, so I did find a similar beautiful Montessori ball on Etsy for about $17 here. 
So you can go ahead and purchase it. The sensory balls that Stella loves are these that I got for $10 and instead of just the one ball, you're getting an entire set of six here. She absolutely loves this yellow one to use as a teether. The other ones are really fun for her to explore because they're not only different colors, the different textures, the different sizes even. Stella definitely enjoys this set of the sensory balls more. She also likes that there's a variety of them that I put into a basket. So when I put the basket in front of her, she's enjoying being able to pick them up and kind of rummage through the basket herself versus having just the one ball. But there are pros and cons to each one. So it just depends on what your baby seems to be more interested in. But again, if you're wanting to go with the strictly traditional Montessori ball, there are options online for that. Next is the Parts of Me book. And this one you will know is my least favorite item of the entire play kit because it was not a very specific Parts of Me book. What I would prefer is this book here, which is $6. It's a board book as well, but there's a lot more happening in the book. We're not only looking at the head, we're seeing the baby touch his head. It even prompts you as the parent to read Pet Your Little Head, Pet Pet Pet. So baby's learning words and actions. So this book will definitely age better with your child. Again, a book is a book and I love introducing books to your child, but I would much rather prefer introducing this one as the Parts of Me book. Next is the Play Socks. And depending on what you want with for your first Play Kit option with the mittens, you might have purchased this option here already. If not, you would have now two items to put on the feet because I'm sure you could put these bracelets on the ankles as well. So again, depending whether you used it for the gloves and the socks or you're just going to be using them for the socks, $13 versus $7, depending on how you would want to look at that. And we've got the Tummy Time Wobbler. And here we've got another wobbler that I found on Amazon for $9. A wobbler is a wobbler. They all do the exact same thing. They don't fall. They kind of roll away if your baby pushes them and allows the baby to propel themselves after it. And so if we are to put all of the items together for this play kit and purchase all of them, this is the box that would make sense financially to purchase through Love Every versus individually. Because if we combine all of the items together, we've got the spinning drum for $33. We've got another 29 for the tissue box. We've got 17 for the Montessori ball. Let's go ahead and give the benefit of the doubt and just say 13 for the set for the hands and the feet, another six for the book, and another nine for the wobbler. So you're looking at about $107. Now, after having experienced this play kit, my recommendation would actually be, again, just to skip on the tissue box completely and just give your baby a box of Kleenex tissues that they play with supervised because they seem to enjoy that a lot more. And whether or not you get the Montessori ball is up to you. If you were gonna go with just one option, I would would still go for this set of the six sensory balls for ten dollars instead because at least for Stella it has definitely been something that she enjoys a lot more and you're getting a lot more variety here with your ten dollars versus just the one kind of ball for 17. So depending on whether you go with this set versus the Montessori ball that you're looking at about 78 to 71 dollars so with the five to six month play kit, you're not necessarily getting a much better savings. You're going to end up hitting right around 70 to $80, which is what the play kit would cost you, depending on whether you're subscribed or you're getting it individually. So this may be the one play kit you might wanna try out for yourself. I'd say if there's any play kit you start out at, I would start with the five to six month play kit and definitely forego the first two play kits that they have to offer. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up as it really helps my channel. Subscribe to my channel below as I make weekly videos about motherhood, childcare, and Montessori. Don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you're notified every single time I post.